Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews and today we have Mummy! <laughs> so it's a little bit late at night and we've just took off our makeup and I've decided we're going to put a face mask on um, and these are the two that I got last week, let me just grab them which is the Bubble Purifying Plus Charcoal Face Mask so I've got one for Mum and one for me I have no idea what these do or what they look like but guys I've got to tell you I am um, a bit funny with face masks I just think it's hilarious and I might just break out in laughter but it's a good chance for us to try both of it because we've both got different skin types haven't we so I've got a, a like a combination of oily and dry depending on the season so we're going to do that and with that I printed out some questions from Charmed Wench. She's done um, questions and answers for the bloggers thing. So um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get right good answers on this. But while we've got our masks on, Mum's going to ask me the questions and I'm going to answer as truthful as I can. Um, yeah, and that's that. Once I finish this, we're going to turn it off. We're going to take off the mask and we're just going to give our faces a little bit of a night moisturiser and a little bit of serum. All right, guys, so we're going to get straight into it. So I'll give one to my mum to open. Thank you. And this should be interesting. I better take my glasses off. And guys, I have got my fringe down today. I don't have a clip to clip it. But it's the end of the day. It doesn't really matter, does it? Right, let's have a look. So I can tell there's, it looks quite soggy and messy and ooh, rather, rather weird looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it feels so weird. Right, so I've read the instructions. We've both cleansed our face, so that should be... Oh, I think we're <laughs> going to start laughing with these on. So, guys, um, I'm not right good with masks in general. I have a, a phobia <laughs> of face masks. <laughs> and um, as long as you don't look like Michael Myers, I think I'm all right. But there's a mirror there, so if I can just... <laughs> oh, my God. I'll tell you what, it is nice, though, guys. <laughs> it's really warm. <laughs> Oh, like we're going to do in a bank robbery. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely and cool. <laughs> it, is, it is really, really cold, guys. Um, but I feel like I've got a balaclava on my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is so funny. So, guys, we're going to keep this on. It says... <laughs> get me for that with glasses. 15 to 20 minutes. So... I've got my phone here and now it's 10.41 so I reckon about 11 o'clock you should be ready to take it off. I'm just going to smooth it in. Um, does it go under your eyes? <laughs> it's on your mouth. you got you to gotta read the questions. <laughs> oh dear. So um, it is... Is it Friday? It's Friday, isn't it? So this is what we call a Friday night. Prepare to rob the beauty store <laughs> video. <laughs> so guys, it, already I can tell it's bubbling. Right, I don't think we're supposed to touch it anymore. It's gone all frothy. So guess <laughs> it's gone frothier than mine. So mum's gonna read out these questions and I will answer as truthful as I can. Right, number one. What was your favourite video to watch? On YouTube, favourite videos to watch. When I first started my channel, I um, I will say I've watched YouTube for a very, very long time. I usually watch a lot of music videos, to be completely honest with you, when I first started YouTube. But as I've started my own channel, I've also had to... Um, Educate myself, <laughs> so often at me. Educate myself on what, <laughs> what to watch. I knew this would be hard to do. <laughs> what to watch. So I like watching unboxing, guys. I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like hauls. Um, I do like hauls. I don't think my mask is on proper. <laughs> I like watching hauls. 
I love hauls. I really do love hauls. And I love watching makeup. <laughs> this is, it's frothing up, guys. I feel like I'm in a sud bath. <laughs> I like watching um, makeup videos and nails. Guys, pretty much what I do in my channel, I like to watch other YouTubers do. I started off watching big YouTubers and thinking, oh my God, how would I ever compete with that? Um, and then I thought, why watch the big ones when you can support the the new ones like myself? So, yeah, I've kind of, there's a mozzie in here. Um, so, <laughs> sorry guys, but there's a mozzie in here. It ain't taking a bite out of me. So, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> it's come off your chin. <laughs> guys, this is, sorry guys, this is going to be so funny. Right, go on, question uh, number two. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I think we're going to have to contour ourselves. What are your favourite videos to film? All right. Ooh, videos to film. Um, I know what my least favourite is. My favourite video to film for me is my unboxings because I like surprises. I like the element of not knowing what's in the box, not looking at me, making me laugh. What's in the box? Um, <laughs> yeah, that is probably my most... The, the mosquito is coming very, very close to me. That is probably my best um, vi uh, videos to... Was it to film, did you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my favourite videos to film. Unboxings, guy. Definitely unboxing. Next question. What are your least favourite videos to watch? Least favourite videos to watch? Ooh. Um, I can't say ASMR, guys, because that would be very hypocritical of me. I have my own ASMR, ASMR channel. I'm struggling a little bit with it because I, I don't particularly understand ASMR personally, but I don't mind doing it. My least video to watch, um, oh god, I don't really have one to be completely honest. I kind of, I like supporting all the, the um, beginners, um, bloggers and stuff like that. My least favourite, oh god, I, I really don't know guys. Anything to do with horror maybe, if there's like um, special effects, um, face masks, anything like that. I, I won't watch that mm. because I'm just petrified of it. So that's that one guys. Right. What is your favourite part of the beauty community? Ooh, favourite part of the beauty community is the beauty community in itself. Um, so, <laughs> seven, was it eight months ago? Eight months ago I started this and I must admit I felt very alone in the YouTube com community because the only people that was adding to my channel, still looking at me, was, <laughs> was people from my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, but then I started realising you had to kind of take an interest in other YouTubers to get anywhere and that's when I started finding other YouTubers and um, yes, I'd subscribe to them, not for a sub for sub because I don't do that, um, just because I, I like their channels and I think from that, the whole family thing, um, you feel welcome, the support, you all support each other and I think that's amazing. Um, and I think that's probably what my most favourite thing is, just the support that you have from other YouTubers, basically. But yeah, number five, I think number we're Number five, Christian. What is your least favourite part of your beauty community? Um, very much like um, the answer that Charmed a Wench gave, basically. I've not really had loads of negativity on this channel as of yet. I suppose I will eventually. Um, and I'll have to be hard skinned about that. Um, but I have had a little bit of an issue on my ASMR channel. I've had one person in particular um, who disliked every single video and got my percentage down. Um, I'm not sure if YouTube picked up on this or whatever happened, but then I got really upset about it. I didn't have any negative comments, it was just the thumbs down and then eventually um, it all went back. He, that person disappeared and all my percentage went back up. But I have to say, um, trolls, I don't believe in putting anybody else down, even if you're a big YouTuber, do you know what I mean? Everybody's entitled to opinion by all means, but to be mean and cruel to other people for something that they're doing, I just think it's really cruel. 
I particularly like to support other subscribers at uh, YouTubers, not put them down. Of course, if there's something you don't like, by all means, you can be critical about it, but be nice in a critical way. I don't believe in being mean and nasty. And um, one day I'm going to have to deal with this. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit more hard skinned. To be completely honest, I've had worse in my life with um that kind of thing so i probably will be prepared for that so that is my least favorite other people putting other people down for no specific good reason at all so number six number six what motivated you to start your channel oh what motivated me um basically i do nails and makeup anyway i doing it for years why not do it for <laughs> She's looking rather frothy. <laughs> We're looking rather frothy right now, guys. Frothy, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, what motivated me is the fact that I do have a disability. Um, I had to try and think of a way of doing something from home which would motivate me in what I wanted to do as a career. Obviously, I've done nails as a career. I've done beauty as a career. I've done admin and I've done retail. So I have all that about me. But I just wanted something to do at home. I used to see loads of other YouTubers and and thought, oh, I could never do that. I'm not confident enough. Um, and then everybody, including my mom, my dad, my family, my kids, said, Mum, you can do it. And then my husband bought my equipment. I tried it. And my, my channel started off with wigs, if you look right back, which is not that long ago. But I did start off as being a wig reviewer. Um, but then how many wigs can one person have? It got to the point where I had all these wigs, no time to wear them. And I just went into doing something else that I, I know what I can do, which is nails and makeup. And unboxing came from, um, oh, Mad About Beauty, um, Sparkling Princess, Lynette, um, The Moon and Stars, oh God, uh, Emma. The list can go on forever and ever and ever because it is really big. Shay um oh the list is endless charmed wench seeing all these these youtubers doing their unboxing it's fun it's exciting i enjoy it i enjoy doing it myself and um yeah it kind of my channel's kind of gone on different variations of things but i think i'm going to stick at what i'm doing now i'm not too sure if this face mask thing will be a regular thing <laughs> <laughs> definitely not so yeah that's that's my answer to that one guys who most inspires you on YouTube? Ooh, who most inspires me? I must admit, I started off watching um, Stephanie Toms and, um, oh God, I can't remember her name now. Stephanie Toms and then there was another. Obviously, I've watched, um, guys, I can't even think now. There's so many. Jeffrey Star, I started watching him as well, and um, ja James Charles. I started off, guys, I will admit, watching people who were doing makeup. And I also watch um, Neo Nails, Kirsty, Kirsty Meekin. She's, I love watching Kirsty Meekin. I love her channel. I love everything about what she does. Um, so I'd say, round about the big makeup influencers and the big nail kind of persons. As for unboxing, um, I kind of like watching the PRs that Stephanie does and I, I still can't think of the other person. My mind's gone completely blank. If I think of it, I'll put it at the bottom. But yeah, I liked kind of watching and them, but I've kind of come a long way since then. I do still watch them now and again, but um, I'll watch Tammy as well from Revolution and Sophie. Um, but now I'm kind of, there's that many people to watch. I kind of took a seat back from them now because they're high up there and they're doing really well and I kind of support more of the um, the smaller channels now. So, yeah, that was that. Hmm. Number one advice for other creators, new people starting out a channel. Ooh, um, my advice so far would be not to do the sub for sub. I started off thinking that was a normal thing to do. Somebody would say... Um, would you subscribe to me if I subscribe to you? And then I'd subscribe to them and they subscribe to me. And then the next day they would unsubscribe. But it's very hard to find out who subscribes, who unsubscribes to you when they're on private. So I would find that I, I'd be getting so far up the list and then I'd be back down at the bottom. 
and then I'd question myself, what is it I'm doing wrong? Um, is it worth doing this? I feel really disheartened and gutted. My advice would be to, to do what makes you happy, do what you want to do, not what other people you see doing. Whatever makes you feel happy and comfortable doing. If you're doing something that don't make you happy, there's no point carrying on doing that in your channel because you will grow out of it rather quick. Um, other advice would be to stick at it. It's a very long slog. Don't expect to be somewhere up here within 12 months because reality is it may take you two to three years to even get past 500 subscribers. I'm only on 144 with the help of a few people, including Alicia from the Moon and Stars. I, I find without the help of all these other um, YouTubers, I think I'd still be struggling. And I may have actually given up round about now because I'm not a quitter, guys. Don't ever get that impression. But I always feel if I'm not getting anywhere, what's the point? But you got to stick at it. Uh, you got to put 110% in your channel. you got to be devoted. You've got to be dedicated. Guys, whenever I have an opportunity or an idea, I either get it on paper or I'll, I'll sit down and film. Like this, for example. I don't think me and my mum ever sit down and stick a, a fairy fluffy mask <laughs> on our faces and ask each other's questions. Mm -hmm. But for the but guys, we thought about it and we just thought it would be one, entertaining to see us looking such prats <laughs> and frothy. And it's a good way of us finding out i mean we've got another 10 minutes with this on but we're coming near to the end we will stop the tape and we will probably discuss between ourselves and then we'll come back to you with our end result so that is the reason guys with that one which was um my, my number one advice just keep at it guys and don't be disheartened if you're not getting anywhere fast um maybe even have a look at what other youtubers are doing how they're doing it get some ideas and you don't have to copy them but you can get some inspiration from other youtubers that are doing a lot better than you obviously everybody does their own channel the way they want to do it and i think just be true to yourself don't do what everybody else is doing do it the way you want to do it and like not not a lot of people have backdrops do you know what i mean and all the fancy lights i started my channel with with nothing and then within a month I had a backdrop uh, and I tried to do my backdrops to kind of my personality but um, yeah that's the only advice I could give you start at the beginning work your way up once you get where you feel you're getting somewhere that's when you can start be more creative with your channel I mean I'm nowhere near as creative as some people on on YouTube at the minute but eventually I will I will so yeah that's my answer to that one this is number 10. What do you love about YouTube as a whole? What do I love about YouTube as a whole? Um, if I think back to when I first started watching YouTube, a lot of YouTube for me was music. I love my music. I love watching all kinds of music. Um, like at the minute, I am really into my metal, as most of you know. And I know a lot of local bands from where I am have got their own YouTube channels and I will watch them, I'll support them, I'll share their links. I like to help everybody, not just other YouTubers that are doing what I do. I like to help the bands as well, do you know what I mean? And follow that through on Twitter, onto Instagram, onto Facebook. Um, but as a whole, I love the community of YouTube and how everybody supports each other and we don't kind of cause each other any upset and pain and what have you guys i'm actually seeing a picture in a minute i'm going to show you in a minute it's on my mum's bag and it's it's it was me as a beauty therapist when i was younger so i'm going to show you that in a minute but youtube as a whole i love the whole i love just going on youtube and just watching random things and if there's nothing on telly just click on your youtube and watch everything on there i mean my little boy loves watching ryan's toy review um and as you know zach's autistic and he's six he now wants his own channel. And we'll start rubbing it in a little bit now. He's actually wants his own toy channel, toy review channel. Um, I'm not one for, for putting him off that idea. I'm just worried about the negative side of YouTube. But <laughs> this is rubbing your neck. But all in all, guys, I just love YouTube for what it is and um, the content that's on there. I love watching tattoo 
um, reactions, tattoo reviews, music reactions, other um, beauty affiliates. I love watching makeup, nails. I just love YouTube for that reason and I hope it continues to, to grow as a community. So guys, that is my answers to that. I am not going to tag anybody, but if anybody else wants to do this crazy <laughs> idea that we're doing, by all means, do so. But now we're just going to, I'm just going to explain how this feels for me and then you can maybe explain how it feels for you. My mum's is very frothy compared to mine. I think she was kind of messing with it. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just, you yeah. The foam's kind of going on my shoulder. <laughs> so, guys. Um, very foamy. It is very foamy. Now, guys, I ain't got my glasses on. And if I put my glasses on with this on, you will all just be crying and laughing. But from what I can see, it just says... I I'm going to... Guys, don't laugh. Please don't laugh. Mum, don't laugh. <laughs> I look like Penfold. It says here, um, an oxygen-rich foaming facial mask which reacts with the air to create a deep cleansing exfoliating foam for a more radiant clean and clear complexion so it does say rinse off with water so guys with that said it did say rub the sachet for a few ses seconds before opening but i didn't do that either <laughs> all my glasses are soaked so guys i'm just i'm just going to give it another little rub I mean, what are you supposed to do with all this foam anyway? Because I don't really want it in my mouth. <laughs> Yours is really foaming. <laughs> You're frothy. Guys, we're going to take a picture and put it on Instagram just for a laugh. I look like I mean, we've just robbed a... <laughs> Guys, i tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go off camera now and we're going to wash it. We're going to take it off and wash our face and we'll come back on. But we're going to scare... I'm going to scare my stepdad and <laughs> see what he thinks when we walk through. So, guys, we'll be back in a jiffy. We're going to go and take this off and we'll give you our verdict then. Back in a jiffy. Okay, guys, we carried on laughing for about five to ten minutes after that. We went in and my stepdad was like, what the hell? And then my husband was laughing and then my little boy kind of jumped and ran back upstairs. So... <laughs> I think we may have given an answer. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to finish off now with the Ultra Lift Complete Beauty Night Cream. There you go, Mother. And can you see the mirror there? Mm -hmm. So, guys, that mask was very peculiar. Um, it kind of started frothing. I don't know if it went off our own body temperature or something because my mum's was a lot frothier than mine. <laughs> I mean, she was frothing at the mouth. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> um, so we've got the night cream on I'm also going to try let me try so guys this is my um, my box of masks so I've got quite a few I am going to start doing some videos I've actually got the, the lip collagen as well I'm going to try that that should be really hilarious because I probably won't be able to talk now I've got in front of me these so I've got the hydrating cream that's been in the fridge. I'm not going to use that. And I've actually got the Hyaluronic Acid anti recall um, Face Serum. So I've got that. But I'm going to try this because me and my mum both had the same issue with our eyes getting really dry. So I'm going to just put a couple of drops under my mum's eyes and then she can rub it. So only under your eyes. Just rub it under your eyes, mum, and keep your eyes closed. That's it, dab it. And just leave it dry in natural. Because this is a caffeine serum, guys, that I got from Revolution. Now, I've been using this for a while and I've noticed a massive difference with the dark circles under my eyes. I, I've been using this serum now for about, probably about three months, guys. And I've got to say, I love it. And once I've put my night cream on, I just put this on and I put it on in the morning as well. And I just let it soak in and it does soak in rather well. And that's the um, caffeine solution hyaluronic acid. So that's from Revolution. And it lasts absolutely ages, guys. My glasses are so dirty. So, guys, um, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to show you this picture really quickly. And um, I think my mum enjoyed her first video of stripping our makeup off and putting our face masks on. Oh, God, my mum's bag's like a bloody brick. Oh, so guys, give me a second. It's stuck under the suitcase. 
Well, my face feels so smooth. Yeah, it feels nice and soft, mm. doesn't it? And it's like cleansed. Cleansed, yeah. And even though I mean, mine feels a little bit tacky. I'm not too sure if yours feels. Yeah. But nice, not like a sticky tacky. It's more like a moisture tackiness. And I know that my skin feels lovely. I've, we've not had no allergic reaction or anything no, from that. No, no. That was from Superdrug as well, um, their mask. I'm not too sure how much they were. I think they were one ninety nine guys. And they were called the Bubbles Mask. I personally haven't seen them before, but I would recommend them. I, I think they're fabulous. Right. Probably better doing them when you're on your own because you, when you're with somebody, it's just hilarious because you kind of see what they look like. So, guys, here is a picture of me when I worked in beauty. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but that is a very young me. How old were I? I was about 9, 20, 21? 21. Oh no, I was older because I had Chloe then. So I was about 22, 23. So I think I was about 23 here, guys. Looking rather smooth on the whole skin part. And I had eyebrows, guys. I really did. Look, real eyebrows. Not painted eyebrows like I have now. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's great. I love that. And obviously, the Garnier... I have got, let me just show you quickly. So I've got all these masks. I'm going to try these guys with you. But I have actually got the Ultra Lift, which is the Garnier Eye Mask. I think I will follow that through with, if I can get my hands on it, it's right at the bottom, this. So I've got the Ultra Lift Mask and I've got the eye. So I may try these alongside the Garnier Nighttime Cream. And I've got da -da -da -da, the Garnier Day Cream as well. So I will let you know how these work as a team. Um, for now, we've just tried that mask with the Garnier. And that Garnier is quite nice as well, wasn't it? It was nice mm. and soft. It was being soft. Yeah. So, guys, that is it for tonight. Skin feels lovely. Refreshed. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Smooth. It smells nice as well. Mm. It is nice. Fabulous. So obviously we've got two types of skin here. We've got my mum's, which we'd call like the mature skin. And then we've got mine, which is going into the mature skin, which if you look at certain creams, like my mum's got a couple of creams here in front. Let me just mm. grab, let me grab a couple of these to show you what my mum's been using. So my mum's been using the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Golden Age. How do you find that, mum? Do you find that? Very good. That's good, isn't it? Now where my mum lives, she lives in Southern Ireland. You would be very, very shocked at the price of this over here i think it's like 19 pound 95 i think it's like what 40 euro or something mm. around about that mark now guys don't take advantage of prices when they're they're low i think i know now what my mum likes and i probably will pick her up some of these creams when i'm out and about obviously i bought my mum the liqueur um day cream and night cream from aldi um yeah you don't have them in aldi over there do you, you don't have no. They don't have them creams in Aldi in Ireland, which is quite weird. I'm just like rummaging through my mum's things here. And I know that she's also got the Nip and Fab Fixes, which is the No Needle Fix Moisturiser. You've only just started using that though, haven't yes. you? Yes. My mum's going to give me her verdict on that. It's um, on the trial basis at the moment. Yeah. So my, once my mum's tried it for a, a few months, she's going to let me know what she thinks of it. And then I will um, try mine and see how I go with mine. Obviously, if we've got two different um, skin, how's your skin normally? Have you got dry skin or oily skin? Or are, you, are you a combination? Combination. So we've got the same skin, we've both got combinating skin. What else has you got on there? <coughs> Let me have a look. Oh, and then it's just a hair product. So it fell off. I'll grab it. So my mum's been using the John Frieda for his ease because both me and my mum have natural curly hair. We both straighten it. I colour my hair black, my roots. My mum does hers by bleaching so yeah so it's been using the John Frieda and me and my mum both went on a beauty rampage <clears throat> bought lots of different beauty items didn't we products products yes. my mum's taught brought some products to take back she will give me an update on what she thinks of her products and um cosmetics yeah. lipsticks foundations yeah. my mum bought the Anastasia um foundation as well and she bought the l'oreal infallible because i recommended oh, that yes. to you yes. i do recommend the l'oreal infallible i'm just going to pick this up guys because my mum's creams fell over 
um but yeah so far so good guys if you want to see i'd like to see if you'd like to see more of these videos but unfortunately my mum goes back to ireland on sunday and i just thought well, i'd do this opportunity yeah <laughs> of doing this video with my mum and um i hope you guys liked it i know i did plan to do um i do my mum's makeup and she does mine but to be honest with you guys it is very warm it is very warm in this room isn't it in the conservatory it's really warm it's been a warm day it's been a warm night but i did do something i painted my mum's nails so she's lost a little gem i'm going to glue that back on but i did my mum's nails today with the born pretty um i did the gold and i also did the more you london purple print with um iridescent gems didn't do that online again guys but i have done it today as you can see what are they called spirit fingers spirit fingers and as you say guys i um still not done my nails yet okay guys so that is it um thank you um charmed wench for the opportunity to do these questions and answers um the collab that i've done with the moon and stars once alicia's done the second half of her video we will be doing the draw for the giveaway and guys let's get to 200 so i can give this 200 giveaway and let's crawl up to the others the basket's even bigger now and it we've gone oh. adding things to the basket so if you want to see what that looks at the minute go on to instagram i've got a picture on there and if you want to see the ridiculous pictures of me and my mom just laughing after we shot this video um with the mask be sure to go and catch that on my instagram as well don't forget to ring the bell <laughs> ring the bell <laughs> and don't forget to like share and subscribe all right guys so take care of yourself and it's a bye from me and it's a bye from you <laughs> <laughs> from you from mom <laughs> i'm gonna see you on the next one bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.